In this tutorial, we will have a simple example of how to get input from a user and output it on the page with JavaScript. Okay, so I have a simple HTML page here with very little styling, but I can type in my name here and I can click on submit and the name will be output here. If I type again, Ryan, let's say, I submit again, it gets added to the list, right? So we're gonna have a list of names, right? So I can add as many names as I want. They will get added to the list here. Okay, so I have opened my code editor and I have opened a folder, right? So in Visual Studio Code, you have to open a folder and then I'm gonna create an HTML file. I'm gonna call it index.html, why index? Well, this is a bit of a remnant from the past. And in Visual Studio Code, I can write HTML and then I can take the second option here and press tab and it will actually give me an HTML boilerplate. I'm going to close the sidebar here. Okay, so I'm going to add some space here and I'm going to change the title here to welcome. Okay, so then in the body here, we're going to have, I'm just going to add some quick markup here. So we're going to have an H1, hello there, what is your name? Right, and then an input field for the user to type their name. So it's going to be of type text and I can add a placeholder so that you see some uh, description basically of what this input field is for. It's not mandatory, but uh, it, it uh, looks better, I think. Okay, so then we have a button so the user can submit this. Submit. All right, and then we have that list of names, right? So initially, we're just going to have um, an empty list, right? So now it's an empty list. And usually in the list, you have li, right? So what we want is that we get this, right? Right, but we're not gonna hard code that here in our HTML. This is what, what we will get when the user uh, submits their name, right? But for now it's an empty list, okay? I'm gonna open this up in the browser. So what you can do is you can click and drag this into your browser tab area here, okay? So this does not look very good, so I'm very quickly going to add some styling. I can do that with CSS. I could create a whole new file for CSS. Actually, I have a whole course on CSS. I highly recommend you check that out if you want to become a professional developer. But I can also write CSS in here. So I can simply write style and I can quickly add some styles here. So I just want everything to sit in the center. I'm going to use Flexbox for that. So let's see, um, align items, center. So now if I refresh here, it's all in the center. I'm gonna add a background color. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then also I wanna make the input a little bit bigger. And I will give it some margin on the bottom so it's not sitting right against the button. Okay, and um, I will make the font size in the UL 30 pixels. We won't see that right now because there is nothing in the UL yet, but we will see that uh, once the user starts submitting their name. Okay, so this is what we have right now. So what we want is if I type Tim here and I click on submit, nothing happens right now, but it should be, the name should be added to the list. So for this, we're gonna use JavaScript. So we could create a whole new file for JavaScript, um, but we can also quickly add some JavaScript to our page by using the script tags. So in here, I can write JavaScript. So when the user clicks on the button, we wanna do something, right? So we need to hook into the button here. So I'm gonna select the button. I can do that with document query selector. And I'm just gonna select by tag, right? Because there's, there's only one button on the page. This is a very simple example. I like to append L to my variable names if we are selecting HTML elements. Okay, so then, we want to do something when there is a click event on that button, right? So we're going to attach a so-called event listener. And to which particular event? Well, the click event. And when that event occurs, we are going to run a function. And the function, that we can specify that in here. I will use modern arrow function syntax. So in here, we can do something when the button has been clicked. So what we want to do is we want to get the value from the input. That's what we want to put in the UL. So we need two more things actually. We need a reference to the input, right? Because we need to get its value. And then we also need to get a reference to the list. So I'm quickly going to select this. Okay, so now uh, we have a reference to all the elements that we're going to need. So when there is a click, we want to get the input value. Right, that's going to be the name. 
So input L dot value. This will give me the value of the input, right? So whatever the user typed in, we will get that here, right? And we will store it in input value. Okay, and then we want to put it in the list, right? And it should be in it should be in li tags, right? So we want to have li, li, and then uh, Tim, right? This is what we want. So we can insert HTML. So I can say list L dot inner HTML. And we can provide the HTML that we want to insert, right? Now I'm going to use backticks here. This is, a, this is going to be a template literal because we want to use that variable name, right? So we have li and then in here we can use uh, dollar, dollar sign uh, curly braces to use the uh, variable value, right? So input value. Right, so now when there is a button, when there is a click on the button, we take the value from the input element, we create li, an li element out of that, and that's what we put as inner HTML of this list. Right, so I have to refresh to make the uh, changes work. So I'm gonna type a name here, Tim again. So now when I click on submit, we see Tim in the list. If I type another name, Ryan, now, actually, Ryan does not get added. It actually replaces the previous value. And the reason for this is because we're using inner HTML. But there's another way of inserting HTML, and that is with insert adjacent HTML, right? Because all of these names, they should be adjacent to each other, right? And uh, the syntax here is a little bit different. So I'm going to copy this. So in here, we can specify where in the list the name should be inserted. We want each name to be inserted at the end. So this is also called uh, right before the end of the list, right? So it should be right be before the end. So we say before end, and then here we can paste the HTML that we want to insert there, right? So now it will not replace it. It will keep putting it right before the end. So you're going to get a list. So now if I refresh here and I say Tim, and we see Tim, Ryan, Ryan gets below here, Chris, right? So now you get a nice list, right? So this was a quick example of how to get user input and output it on a page. All right, that was it for this video. Hope that you learned a lot. Now, if you like the video and you wanna become a professional modern JavaScript developer, then definitely check out the full course. It has two beautiful real world projects that we built from scratch and you will learn much more like fetch and promises and async await, destructuring the spread operator, advanced JavaScript, how to structure or architect your project modern front-end concepts like components, state, and rendering, and much more. It's all in there. Check it out. The link is in the description. In any case, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.